Ian Schrager has revolutionized the entertainment and hospitality industries over the past four decades. He first made a name for himself in the 1970s as co-founder of the legendary nightclub Studio 54, a celebrity hotspot for guests like Michael Jackson and Steven Tyler. In 1984, Schrager introduced the world's first boutique hotel, and it's radically changed the hotel industry. More than 30 years later, his hotels still shake up the hospitality market with his stylish designs and attention to detail. Schrager's newest project is the Public Hotel in New York. Its mantra is luxury for all. Rooms start at $150 a night. Schrager aims to disrupt the industry once again and create a new experience for travelers. Ian Schrager joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Public. What does that mean? Tell us. Uh, well, you know, everything changes, culture, fashion, everything, uh, except hotels haven't changed. And I think the very notion of luxury has changed. And it shouldn't be about a price or a business classification. It should be about an experience. And anybody and everybody that wants to participate with luxury should have the opportunity to do it. But you say, Ian, there's, there's no doorman, there's no check-in desk, no spa, no room service. This does not sound like luxury to me. Well, you know, luxury <laughs> is a state of being. It's a feeling. Yeah. It's how it makes you yeah, feel. Yeah. There's nothing you know, like picking up the and phone. I always need hear, a room service yeah. and a suite. Yeah. Right. I always That's hear this preference. thing about when you put in technology, uh -huh. it lacks a personalization. Mm -hmm. But I think that spunked a hogwash. I mean, if the technology is done well, if it's executed well, if it has that wizardry about it, it elevates the spirit and lifts the experience. So how does it work? How does it work then? When you go in and you check in and you do it te with technology, you are kind of startled by it all. It's so easy, and it's it, it part of the fun and experience of staying in a, in a modern place for modern people. This sounds like uh, Airbnb has had 200 million guests, I think, since 2008. Is this a reaction or a sense that the industry is changing, and that's why you're going to have a hotel like this? The industry is changing. Airbnb is really a disruptive idea. And the only way to compete with a disruptive idea is to come up with another disruptive idea. Mm -hmm. And I think the only way the hotel industry can compete with Airbnb is to do those things Airbnb cannot do, which is to provide social and communal spaces and experiences. Uh, and, and that's what we've been doing for 30 years, and we will continue to do it. I still don't know what happens when yeah. I walk into your hotel. I walk in, and how do I know what room to go to? I, I, I still don't understand what you're saying. Well, you would go up into a, an iPad, and uh, you can check in with your phone. Mm -hmm. You can get to your room a lot faster. You don't have to wait online. Okay. Uh, I mean, you when you know. You don't have to talk to people? <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> okay. You, well, we have, we do right. have people. Yeah, called, I know. You know, every new idea is met with skepticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like the boutique hotel was 25 years ago, yeah. like studio was 40 years ago. So, but, but this is a new and modern idea for today's people. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of Studio 54, uh, there's now a book out about that as well. Uh, what was it about Studio 54 that made it such a hot place in uh, its it, time? Didn't you go, Charlie? Did you go? No, I never did. You never did. That, that's a problem. Okay, Charlie, I never danced there. <laughs> uh, it, it was a phenomenon. Uh, it, it made the heart beat faster. Uh, it, it, it's difficult to put it in a box and define it. It's just when you went there, it's like it, it was something really special. You, it was transformative. Uh, it, 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 it gave you an absolute freedom, uh, which is an idea we all seek. Uh, and that's why I think 40 years later, people are still mesmerized by it and still talk about it. Do you ever think of trying to recreate it? Mm. Uh, well, I try and recreate it with the hotels. Th not what happened 40 years ago, because times are different, but that kind of magic. I still try and do How that. much of it was the fact that there were bouncers and that uh, either you had to be somebody or know somebody to go? Or be uh, it was nothing. It was, it was not nothing to do with it. You know, you can't fool the people. Yeah. It was a special place when you went in there. Uh, you got this incredible rush. Uh, you know, you saw uh, 2,000 people dancing as if there was only one, one entity. Uh, all of those things uh, were uh, smoke screens, distractions. The place was special. And, and everything since then has been special. It would kind of validate the idea.
Got you. Well, you're still doing that because you say you're only as good as your next party, and it sounds like you're planning something special with public. You know, we're having a Halloween party tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I always right. get. Just go to your iPhone and yes. know where to be. Now I know I'm where afraid to be. no one's going to come. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, Ian Schrager. You got a good track record. Thank you very much.